State Senator Kathleen Weinhout. I'm from Buffalo County, and I'm running for governor, and I'm asking for your vote. So what do you what do you th what, is, what is the primary reason you think you deserve the, the vote out there? Obviously, you're going to have a primary first. So. Yeah, there will be a primary, and there are a number of candidates, and we're not quite sure exactly how many candidates are going to be in the race. I come from a very different background. I came to politics a little bit later in my career than most of the people I serve with in the Senate and the Assembly. I was a dairy farmer. We, my family and I still have a dairy farm in Buffalo County. It's a certified organic. And actually, I, we don't have the cows anymore, but, but I did milk cows and run the farm for 10 years. Before that, I was a college professor. I taught health administration, management, program evaluation, trying to figure out how to make things work more effectively. Uh, I have had a number of different jobs in healthcare. I started out, my very first job was as a nurse's aide, taking care of our elderly. Mm -hmm. I also have been involved in just about every aspect of state government that the governor would have to deal with. I've worked extensively in healthcare, trying to figure out how to bring affordable health insurance to people. I have worked on school issues related to school funding. I serve on the education committee. In fact, in 2010, the superintendents all across the state said that I had done more than any other single legislator at helping our public schools. I have spent uh, two years as co-chair of the audit committee and then two years as the ranking minority member. An audit is basically a, a, a fascinating opportunity for me to dig deep into the programs the state government runs and try and figure out how to make them run better and into the finances of the state to figure out what's actually really happening. I think that people want to make sure that their tax dollars are being wisely spent and that's one of the reasons I love that work and one of the reasons I'm eager to get started to help solve the very difficult problems that Wisconsin faces today. Let me ask this, if you are elected, it would be this summer sometimes, obviously you're, you're in, in the middle of a, a budget process, so you won't have a budget to propose. Uh, what's going to be your legislative agenda, but short of a budget? Until we need, 2013, I guess, right? We need to find a different way to fund our schools. And I, I do believe that we're, our schools are in crisis and that we're going to need help before that new budget goes into effect in 2013. So one of my first orders of agenda is to, is to look deeply at, at state government and figure out where to bring additional monies into schools at the same time that we hold schools accountable. I've worked on the education committee to try and develop that accountability piece. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get it through because the governor didn't want it to be a part of a bill that was recently passed. But accountability of schools is very, very important. We need to make sure that, that schools are performing, that the children are being well educated, and that the achievement gap between different children is being closed and that students are graduating. Second of all, it's very important that the state moves forward on bringing affordable alter, alternatives to people to buy, who buy health insurance on their own or who are small businesses. This is something the state should have done. We're one of 11 states that has not moved forward, and that needs to happen, and that will be very, very much near the top of my agenda. Third, we're still in a budget crisis in this state. There, we're recovered, the state's beginning to recover, but our job creation is, is slow, much slower than other states. There are a number of reasons for that. We need to bring Wisconsin into the 21st century, which means that we need to have high-speed rail. We need to have broadband out here in western and northern Wisconsin. We need to make sure that we focus on alternative energy, which has not happened in this administration. I'm particularly a fan of manure digesters and using cow manure to create electricity. And finally, we need to make sure that the programs in state government run well. And I have a lot of ideas on how to do that. Okay, thank you. You bet.